I got scars all over my body. I've taken risk all my life and it's made me who I am, whatever that is, but you gotta stick your neck out. I mean, you know, the word adventure means taking a risk, whether it's a financial venture or whatever, it has to be a risk there. And, you know, if a kid doesn't take risks, he'll grow up to be a Republican. <laughs> try not to hover around kids. If we shelter kids, if we don't allow them to experience failure, then we're teaching them that struggle is something we should shy away from. Those are the teachable moments. Those are the moments where they learn that they are capable themselves. I think sometimes when we encounter things that we're uncomfortable with, it could be easy to feel like you should just go to a place that's really safe. And that is kind of the definition of stagnation, but the ability to feel comfortable in taking risks, pushing yourself to explore outside, that's progress. The word thrill is often misconstrued, but I think it's super important that by taking risks and sort of getting through them and pushing yourself through it, it's just like incredibly exciting. You feel very much alive. It's really important for kids to know what their bodies can do, what their minds can do, especially from one to five years, sets you up for the rest of your life. And if you're locked in a house watching television all the time, you're not gonna have opportunities to branch out, to test your wings. And I think being out in nature is the only way to do it. We're animals and we evolved outdoors and the kids, even just being barefoot until kindergarten, really all day, every day, they learn what hurts to step on and when something is black and it's in the sun, it's hot. Just the texture of the natural world, I think, is just embedded in who they are. And so when they do experience change, there's a deep sense of security. They're where they need to be.